Hey guys, what's up? A very, very good evening to all of you. I hope all you guys are having a super amazing day going on. Are you having an amazing day? If not, I am going to make it amazing because guess what? I am live. I am live. So what's up, people? A very, very warm welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders and to my class. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vedantu here today. And we all are together going to have a lot of fun because we are in the second session of the chapter Light, Shadows and Reflections. So are you all ready? Everybody, what's up? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Manju. Good evening. Shivam. Hi, good evening. Hi, Rajesh. Hi, Arman. Hi, Lash. Hi, Lavanya. Hello, hello. Big hi to all of you. And where are all of your friends? Call them right away. Call up all of your friends right away. Come on. Call everybody. Hey, Anushka. What's up? Hi, Anmol. Hello, hello. Big hello to all of you guys. All right, guys. So shall we start? Are you all ready? Shall we quickly start with the class? Yes, yes, yes. Give me a quick yes in the chat. Hi, Nikon. Shout out to you. Yes. A big shout out to everybody who wants shout out. <laughs> all right. All right. Fa okay, cool. So we're going to right now start the session. I hope all of you are ready and pumped up for today's class. And I hope that you guys have already watched the previous session of this chapter. That is light shadows and reflection. Let me give you a quick recap of what we have done already and what we are about to do today. So, so far in this chapter, we have we have studied about what is light. Light is a form of energy that enables us to see the things around us and we can see the object only if the light from that object reaches our eyes. Uh, uh, if you, uh, Objects will be visible only if they emit or reflect light. The objects which emit light are luminous objects. The objects which do not emit light are called as, called as non-luminous objects. All of this is what we, is what we saw. Then we talked about shadows. So in order to form a shadow, we need three things. One is the source of light. Other one is an opaque object. What is the third one? Come on in the chat box. What is the third one that is needed to form a shadow? Everybody, come on. Come on, come on. Opaque? No, no, no. I told opaque. We need a light source. We need opaque objects. And the third one is a screen. Very good, Lavanya. This all the three is what we need in order to see a shadow. Right. So all of this is done. Okay. We also talked about transparent object, translucent object, opaque objects, transparent, which allow the light completely to pass through them. Translucent, partial light, opaque, no light at all. Okay. So all of this is what we have seen. So today's class is a very short class. We'll be learning about reflection of light. What is this reflection? Let's see. Okay. Now guys, we all know right reflection is nothing but when we have a lot of non-luminous objects all around us i am a non-luminous object but you guys are able to see me because light is falling on my face and my face is reflecting that light to you isn't it exactly now every morning we do one thing once we wake up we go to the washroom all that is done and when we when we go to when we go out or when you go to school we go and stand in front of the mirror and we like, hmm, do I look good? We do all that, <laughs> right? Now, what are we looking at in the mirror? We are looking at ourselves, right? So when you stand in front of the mirror, you are able to see yourself inside the mirror because of reflection, right? Now, there are few things which you all have to understand. Here, you can see Winnie the Pooh who is dancing here. The real Winnie the Pooh who's outside the mirror right here is who? He is the object. Now, whatever is seen in the mirror is an image. So this is an object that is an image. Got it? So when you stand in front of the mirror, you are the object. Whatever you see in the mirror is the image. Understood? Exactly. Now, a mirror is generally a, a surface usually consisting of a glass, but Behind the glass, we have coated it with silver so that it becomes an opaque object and reflects light. 
So a mirror is a surface usually consisting of a glass that reflects the light incident on it. What is incident? Falling on it to form clear images. Okay, for example, incident means a ball is coming towards me. That means a ball is incident on me. It's coming towards me, right? So incident means the, the, the ray that is going and falling on, the light that is falling on the mirror. That is incident. Okay, cool. All right, next. So images have color unlike shadows. So what we are trying to do here right now is compare between the images and the shadows. Right, guys, we already know what are all the properties of shadow. Can you guys quickly tell me in the chat box? What are all the properties of shadows? You guys know it. Properties of shadows. Think about it. Come on. One, shadows are dark in color. They're colorless. They're always dark. No matter what color the object is. Shadows give us the outline of the object. That's all. No more details. Right? Exactly. But when we talk about images, images have color. They give, they give all the details of the object. Okay. And they are formed due to the converging rays of light that come after reflection from the objects. It's because the light is falling on that object and it's converging on us. That's the reason. Okay. Yes. Now, a mirror always forms real image. Real images are formed on the screen. Okay. Yes. Is it true, guys? Is it true? Can you guys tell me if this is true? If the, Can you guys all tell me if this is true? Do, image, do mirrors form real images? Tell me, tell me, tell me quickly. I want to see chat box from every... I want to see answers in the chat box from everybody. Do you think this is correct? Come on, come on. Do they form real images? Or do they form virtual images? Think about it. <laughs> All right. No, false. Is it false? Virtual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So plane mirrors, if you're talking about plane mirrors, they can only form virtual images. Okay. So real images cannot be formed right here in the plane mirror. Now we all know real, real images can only be formed where? In the concave mirror. So concave mirror can form real images. But right now, if you are only talking about plane mirror, it can only form virtual images. Now you all have to understand what is the difference between real and virtual. Okay, so real images are the one which you can obtain on the screen. Whereas virtual is what you see in the mirror. So right now what you're seeing here is a virtual image. It's not a real image. Okay, it's a virtual image. Now, don't get confused with this slide, guys. I'm telling you, plain mirrors can only form virtual images. Okay, good, good. Now, reflection. When light is incident on a surface, it gets reflected or it bounces back basically. This phenomenon of bouncing back of light from the surface is called reflection. All right, the phenomenon of bouncing back of light from the surface is called as a reflection or it can, there is also one more definition where the change of direction of light is called is because of reflection. Even that can be told. Okay, now everybody look at this, uh, you know, uh, image right here. The pink line indicates the incident ray, the light that is falling on the mirror. And then you have the normal, which is perpendicular to the mirror, which is forming 90 degree to the mirror. Then you have the reflected ray. So incident ray and reflected ray. The angle between incident ray and normal ray, it is angle of incidence. Now the angle between reflected ray and normal ray, it is angle of reflection. Getting my point? Yeah, that's what we have here on the screen, guys. Got it. Now, guys, before we move forward, that is before we talk about how all can reflection happen, I have an important information to share with all of you guys. Now, that is all about Vedantu's courses. Now, I know a lot of you guys are uh, waiting to take up the courses, waiting for that right time to, to take the Vedantu courses. Trust me, guys, today is that right time because 
for an entire academic year for your uh, math science and english all these three subjects the entire course price is just let's go for grade 6 it's just 8100 that's it guys that's it okay now this is for math science english everything all right now look at this guys you will have live in class apart from classes you will be having live in class doubt solving 100% doubts will be solved in the class then you have live in class quizzes and leaderboards so you will be having quizzes leaderboards for every concepts every day it's going to be amazing then uh, all india test series assignments and class notes so right after the class you can also download the class notes which will really help you guys during your exams study materials ka pdf will be given to you all of this for just 8100 okay which is very very amazing guys trust me and yes if you scroll down you can check out what all this course is about how you have interactive classes post class doubts in class doubt solving test series and analysis everything also do check out the you know faqs look at this will i get recordings of my classes yes you'll also be getting recordings will i get a test series yes so you can, you can check out all the faqs so ask your parents to check this entire website out it's amazing also tell them how amazing vidantu course is and you're getting it for a very very nominal price that is 8100 all right so take it up right today guys come on it's for the entire academic year for you, if you are from 6th for your entire 6th grade just 8100 all right yes so how many of you guys are going to tell your parents about this tell me in the chat box how many of you guys are going to tell your parents and uh, show them how amazing vidantu courses are hi samruddhi are you guys going to tell your parents yes 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 lush is going to tell okay anmol very good very good i can't wait to see you guys all in my batches i can't wait to you know um, uh, make you guys see all my classes so make sure you tell your parents and uh, and also tell them how this course is and for how much price you're getting it and everything okay and do it today because the prices might increase so do it right today the batches are also starting very soon i don't want you guys to miss it out okay <laughs> amazing guys so let, uh, where can you find the link for taking up this course it's right below my video you can see me here scroll down you can see for grade 6 grade 7 grade 8 also for grade 8 je neat foundation so if you are looking for foundation courses for je and neat even the link is here okay guys so take up right away and yep now let us quickly go back to our class where were we we were here right reflection of light so reflection is not only on mirrors guys anything that is shiny you can see reflection over there for example check this lake you can see the reflection of the mountain in the lake itself look at this you can have multiple reflections if you have multiple mirrors okay so due to multiple reflection you can have multiple images see guys can you guys quickly tell me how many images are there in this picture let's see who is smart how many images are there in this picture how many images hi lena how many images are there tell me guys four do we have four images or two images or three images how many are you able to see here properly yes 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 four guys one is an object the laddu in the middle is an object <laughs> this two are images okay we can see two images and one object here don't get confused all right guys so yes reflection of trees buildings or objects in in water pond are examples of reflections of light okay now i have a question for all of you guys do you think reflection will always look like this you can see how clear the mountain is here do you think reflection is always going to be like this no sometimes the reflection might not be clear right so in reflection there are two types regular reflection diffused reflection or irregular reflection so when the surface is smooth we get regular reflection when the surface is rough or disturbed we get irregular reflection if somebody th throws a stone in this water will you be able to see the reflection no because the surface is no longer smooth it's disturbed 
so regular reflection and diffused reflection got it guys very simple now also how to uh, see if the light is changing direction or not by doing this activity ask your friend to hold a mirror in his hand uh, in one corner of the room stand uh, uh, stand at another corner of the room with a torch in your hand cover the glass of the torch with your finger and switch it on you can see how the light is traveling and then bouncing from the mirror and going in a different direction by this you can understand how reflection works got it guys so i hope all of you understood what we learned about reflection this is how amazing reflection is and this chapter yes we have successfully completed it where we have discussed about light shadows and reflections all of the three now you guys all know what is going to be the next class of this chapter it is going to be a v quiz so make sure that you all attempt the v quiz when there is a v quiz class on light shadows and reflection now if you guys want to practice if you guys want to check how much you guys have understood and what we have learned now all you have to do is again go to my video scroll down you can see click here to play light shadows and reflections ka v quiz so click on this link and you will be able to take up the v quiz see enter the quiz and keep solving this six questions guys very amazing very easy questions and let us see who wins i'll be checking who's going to win today's v quiz okay so everybody right now scroll down my video go to v quiz but before that hit on the like button guys don't be confused come on hit on the like button and once you hit on that then you can go and take up the v quiz okay do it right now all right guys so i hope all of you had fun learning with me today we'll definitely meet up in the coming class do not forget to hit on that subscribe button and also do like and let me see how many of you guys are going to have amazing scores by playing that v quiz okay so we'll all meet up in the next class guys so until then this is me mohan signing off all of you take care stay safe stay as lovely as always you guys sir bye bye